Let's start off with something super fun and positive, and that's Jared Kelnick. Because just, again, watching it last night, and it's not just last night, it's everything we've seen through 45 games this year. But watching him last night, the easy power, just the way he does so many different things on a baseball field. What is the Jared, the full Jared Kelnick experience like? Well, I think the full Jared Kelnick experience, Mike, is what we anticipated after that first year when he got traded to the Mariners. Um, you know, the numbers that he was putting up in the minor leagues were otherworldly. The power was really easy, and and he got to it easily. Like that's the thing you can you can have power where in batting practice you're just you know launching balls all over the place, but power in game is a completely different thing. And Jared Kelnick has it in spades, and I think we've seen that he's got. 10 home runs now he's slugging over 550 like you know I, i'll say it again this is the guy who the mariners thought they were getting and uh, he has been an absolute godsend because without jared kelnick this year uh the mariners are among the most disappointing teams in baseball last night sulk and i trying to remember with more ingest i think the first time in a year and a half that we have seen Jared Kelnick and Julio, those two be the absolute fire starters. Those two absolutely yep. carry the team. And uh, I mean, that just has not happened. And then trying to imagine Jeffrey, if it can happen, if these two can grow together over the years with their unbelievable talent and put it together uh, collectively, who has done that? Who is an outfield over the last 10, 20, 25 years in baseball that has had two very young 20-somethings with absolutely special talent? On the spot, nobody is coming to mind. I'm sure that there there are examples of that, but across baseball right now, I don't know that there is one. Um, I mean, there's certainly I, many I teams that... that have had the individual, right? I mean, we had it in Seattle for so many years with Griffey. Sure. You know, Buner was a nice counterpart. But as far as coming up together at that young age and having the kind of ceiling that I think both of these guys have because of just their physical traits and their physical giftings, not been really done much before, has it? No. I mean, let's just, like, let's take a look at Arizona right now as an example. Um, you know, the Diamondbacks came into this, uh, into this season with Corbin Carroll, Alec Thomas, Jake McCarthy, um, really being like guys who they were relying a lot on. Well, Corbin Carroll's been awesome uh, because he's from Seattle. But Jake McCarthy and Alec Thomas find themselves back in AAA. It's, it's hard. It's hard to have, you know, it's hard to find one all-star caliber outfielder, let alone two. Um, but I'll tell you what the you know what what my like happy moment last night was it, when Adrian Martinez let that change up right in the middle of the plate, seeing Julio Rodriguez just hit an absolute missile to left field. I was like, oh yeah, that's what that looks mm-hmm. like, and yep. and and it's it's nice to see when when somebody who you know is one of the most talented players in the world. Um, they can can go out and remind you just how talented he is. Uh, like Julio, when he's at his best, is a top five to top ten player in baseball. I don't think that Kelnick has that ceiling necessarily, um, but Julio is everything. And if if Jared Kelnick, the way he's playing this year, is your second banana. Um, that is a ripe, delicious, perfect banana. Just out of curiosity, and, way, and, my, and I like the way, banana answer, talk. I'm a big banana guy. <laughs> to answer to answer your question, Brock, it, it was John Carlos Stanton and Christian Yelich. Hmm. Yeah, down in Miami, right? Yeah. Can, can I ask a what might be a dumb question, but I'll ask it anyway? Are you sure Kelnick doesn't have the same kind of upside as Julio? I don't think so because he's a corner guy, and I think the strikeout issues are still there. I I, I see Jared Kelnick wave at too many bad pitches still, and I know that you know the swing change was was supposed to help with that. I think the swing change um, really allowed him to kill the pitches in the zone, but I think until the swing decisions are better, 
I just can't put that, you know, all world ceiling on him quite yet. And maybe, maybe that happens. Maybe he tightens the zone even more. But if you look at the strikeouts walk ratio, it's pretty similar to where it's been in the past.